Hey, it's Lou from Sports Unlimited, and I'm here with a comparison of two of the top helmets for the 2015 football season, the Riddell Speedflex and the Shut Vengeance VTD2. Now, the most important thing to realize with these helmets is both Riddell and Shut have addressed this front area of the helmet as far as where they've made their improvements. It's pretty easy to see on the Riddell helmet, this panel right here is what they did to try to lessen the blows to the front of the head. On the Vengeance, it's a little bit harder to see, but what they did was switch up some of the padding on the inside, and we'll go through that. Let's start with the Speedflex. Obviously a very cool helmet for this season. You see the design here, an aggressive, fully redesigned shell. They kind of took some of the elements of the Revo Speed and some of the elements of the 360, and then modernized it a little bit. It's a streamlined, sleeker looking helmet. Fully vented, which is something new for them. You can see straight through here on the uh, outside of the helmet, there's no padding blocking here. So a very breathable helmet, which is important. It's gonna keep you cool during the season and uh, when you're out there on the field. They also made some other improvements to the chin strap, was the one area they took a look at. And you can see here, it's a ratchet lock system. So the chin strap just pulls out and it'll come back out this way if you wanna tighten it up. So that's a little bit different from a traditional chin strap that you'll see with the buckles. And what that'll help you do in between plays, if you're a quarterback, you know, sometimes they won't strap in the bottom of the helmet this way. You can just quickly zip it up after you get your play calls in and everything in the huddle. It's easy to keep the helmet more on your head and a little bit safer. The face mask, HS4 face mask, is fully redesigned for this season. It's stainless steel, so very light, under one pound on the face mask. And they looked at the sight lines to try to improve the field of vision. So you have a nice wide field here. You can see even the bars on the side, not really getting in the way, won't be blocking you, but enough to keep you safe and offer that facial protection. On the inside of the helmet, we'll take a closer look at this. A very comfortable uh, liner in here. That's different than what they've used in the past. It's more of a velvet-like material, so a very soft feel. It's gonna wick away some sweat and moisture. And again, it's all trying to keep you cool. So we'll go into the flex panel a little bit here. Obviously, you can see this will flex up to a quarter of an inch. So if you're hit directly on the front of the helmet, which is where most of the impacts in football take place, it'll bend a little bit and give you some give, but there's still some padding underneath there to offer you some protection. So even if you're getting hit from the other sides of the helmet, you can see it'll squeeze in a little bit and just offer a little bit of give. The Speedflex has five inflation points. See three here and then both of the jaw pads are fully inflatable. So you can kind of get that custom fit and feel. So that's the Speed Flex. The Vengeance VTD2, most of you are probably pretty familiar with the Vengeance model. It's been around for several years. They've made some tweaks to it. Uh, 2014, they came out with this VTD model and you can see the clear TPU in here. And that's just a little bit denser than the TPU that they have been using before it. So just a little bit better at absorbing those impacts. And the TPU is good for the high velocity hits or the low blows, just you know, fingers or hands that are gonna glance off your head. And what they're able to do now is change the thickness. VTD actually stands for variable thickness durometers. So these little cones here that you see, they can all be changed and moved around to adjust to the helmet. In the front, you'll see it's the dual layer TPU with two layers on either side. And then in the back is the single layer TPU, which is a little bit lighter and doesn't have that piece of plastic going over the top. Now, just like all the other Vengeances, it's got this TPU liner, airliner in here. Again, the two inflation points on this one. So you can adjust here and here. And what that's gonna do is give you a little bit better fit Shut calls it a, a pillow-like feel, and uh, the Vengeance has always been known as a comfortable helmet, so this one's really gonna pack in a lot of comfort. Now the main difference, you really can't see a difference between the VTD2 from 2015 and the VTD original from 2014. It's this pad right here. This front pad has been made a little bit thicker and a little bit more absorbing, so when you get those hits to the front, not only do you have this TPU protecting you, you've also got some padding in here that's just a little bit denser than it was last year. 
The VTD2 does not include a face mask, which is part of the thing you need to factor in with the price, but we do have a, a full line of face masks for the Vengeance, including titanium, which is very lightweight. Uh, right here, I have a Ropo DW face mask on here, which is pretty much just the standard face mask for all Vengeances. But this is also part of the shell design. If you're not familiar with the Vengeance, it has the high eyebrow line, aggressive looking shell, and this face mask actually does help with hits to the face absorb because of the way that it's designed and shaped. It will work with the helmet. It's got the twist release, which makes it easy to get on and off. You'll only have to screw in on two points on the side. And we have them available in a wide range of colors and styles. So if you're a linebacker, a quarterback, a wide receiver, whatever kind of face mask you're looking for, we'll have it available for the Vengeance VTD2. We provide the soft cup chin strap with that, and it's just the standard belt hookups. For $5, you can upgrade to a hard cup shut chin strap, which is a pretty good deal if that's what you're gonna do. It just offers a little bit more impact protection on your chin. As far as the Virginia Tech ratings are concerned, the VTD2 was the best rated helmet ever. It had a .180 star impact value, which is incredibly low. The Speedflex was first rated in October that checks in at .193, which at the time was the lowest score ever in the Virginia Tech helmet study until the VTD2 came out. Both of these are available on our site, and you can check us out at www.sportsunlimited.com.